What is good, people of YouTube? Cody Scruggs here, checking in with a brand new installment. Now, before I get into this workout, I'd really like to say for y'all to leave a comment. I don't care what it is. Don't be shy. I'll be here talking to you guys for hours if need be. Leave a comment on every video. I don't care. I'm tired of being shy. Don't be shy. It's fine. So now that that's done, I'm here with a push workout again. I started with decline bench, and what I'm doing here is 135 pounds. And I'm not going to failure, but I'm just fatiguing the muscle before I get into the main lifts of the workout. And by main lifts, I mean by the rep scheme. I'm going to go 12, 10, 8, 6. That 6 rep you're going to see is going to be very difficult for me. But here we go. Right here is 205 for my first set. And what I'd like to say is decline bench is my favorite chest exercise. Flat bench is definitely my second. And incline dumbbells or incline bench, I don't care. Those are starting to be my favorite now. But what I would like to say about the decline bench is that it's a very safer exercise. Very safer. Very safe exercise compared to the flat bench. You're in a better position for your chest. And it's a better position to keep it from an injury in your chest because your elbows are already in an angle that will keep you safe and won't cause a likely injury you can still get injured but very less likely now here is 215 for a set of 10 I do believe and like I said this is my very favorite exercise for chest I'm gonna start incorporating it again and yeah and what I like to say is that this rep scheme that I'm doing, 12, 10, 8, 6, is probably my absolute favorite. And here's 225 for a set of 8. And you're going to see that this one's very hard. And the next set is definitely going to be hard. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, a little foreshadowing. I did spill the weight. You're going to see me spill the weight and embarrass myself on YouTube right here. But I do not care to show failure to you guys because no one's perfect. And I want you to understand that. And... I wanted to show you guys that I do definitely go hard in the gym. I don't just, you know, sissy it out. I go hard. Here it is. There's one. There's two. This set is for six. And on that fifth set, you're going to see me grind it. And then I just go for the six. Now, I do go very hard in the gym. I don't just sissy it out and everything. Here comes that six set, six rep. And I couldn't do it. So here comes the spill. And I definitely was, it was hard. So what I did from there, after I spilled the weight, I just automatically went and turned the camera off, put the bar up real fast, put 135 pounds back on there, and I just kept going and just burning out the chest, did a drop set. And this is how I like to train. I, I feel the burn. I like that burn. And it, I feel my muscle grows and responds better to this type of training. So I'm most definitely going to go back to this type of training, and I did change my bodybuilding split, but I'm still going to focus on strength, but this is probably going to be more of what I do and what you'll see from me. So from there, we moved on to the incline bench. And what I've done is I've done six sets, and I've only recorded the first set and the last set for you guys. I didn't want to spend all that time because this is a long vlog it's 10 minutes long and I didn't want to just make it 15 20 minutes long by me just showing you my incline benching so I did the first set and last set and what I've done was six sets of eight and eight to ten I think I got nine this set I don't think I ever hit ten but it's okay by that flat bench that I've done this incline bench was 10 times harder. I didn't go above 135 pounds as you can see and I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to get stronger at it. Even though I'm doing 135 pounds, I feel the strength there and 135 pounds was still hard for me as it was. But going on to this next exercise is the Nautilus chest machine. And what I've done is what I would like to call a super drop set. I got that from Greg Plitt. Probably the best physique in the game or was. Rest in peace. But going on, I did 150 pounds on the first, doing close grip, working, you know, getting that tight squeeze. I believe that you're born with that full chest. You can't work the inner of the chest. You just got what you got. But you're still, I feel it in the inner, inner part of my chest. 
but I did 150 for like six to eight. Then I did 125 for six to eight. I think I only got six there. And then I went straight down to 90 pounds. Even though that 90 pounds doesn't look a lot, but it, it still hurt going from 150 to 125 right into 95 pounds for this. And as you can see by my face, yeah, it hurt. From, but for moving on from there, I went on to shoulders. And in my shoulders, I just did this machine, this Nautilus machine. And I really like this. This is probably one of the best machines I've ever used for my shoulders. It's a very good squeeze at the top and everything. But I did five sets of this machine, uh, 12 reps, five sets of 12, supersetted with what you're about to see, side dumbbell laterals. Now, what I'd like to say is the laterals... Dumbbell laterals done in this way is probably my favorite. I don't really like to bend my elbows too much to get that poundages up there, you know. I have broken my arms before, both elbows, which sucks, but it's still okay. And it prevents me from feeling that pain in my elbows that I have. And I like this style of doing high reps with low poundages of weight. But going into my triceps... From there, I only did two shoulder exercises, but I went into triceps from here, and I've done the same thing with my triceps as I've done on the decline bench previously. So I started with this is 65 pounds, I'm pretty sure, and I did 12 reps, and I just slowly went up from there. Now I like to talk about my skull crusher form. I don't go to my head usually; I just go behind my head. And get that squeeze at the back. Now I've never always done this. But going to my forehead seems to put a lot of pressure on my elbows. But going behind my head I get a better pump in my triceps. So going on from there I added 5 pounds. Making it 75 pounds. And I went for 10 reps. Same rep scheme as decline. 12, 10, 8, 6. And I did a drop set as well. And going here, I did 10 reps here. Now what I'd like to say about the Skull Crushers, they're probably my absolute favorite tricep exercise. Other than like push downs or anything, but that's cable. Free weight, I'm more of a free weight lifter as you can tell. But the machines that I've got, I, I really like to use those and implement them into my training. But I, like, I do like going and getting that pump, doing Skull Crushers, then doing the close grip. But here is, I do believe, 85 pounds going for a set of 8. And I'd like to say that coming from my shyness that I used to be and uploading videos, it's hard to talk for 10 minutes straight. But I'm trying for you guys. I'm trying to upload these, help you guys out, help myself out by motivating myself to work harder towards my dream of physique and wanting to fulfill my dreams of being a motivator. I like to motivate. I really do because I believe that I come a long way from where 100 pounds to like 175 to 180 pounds as I am now. But here is a set of 95 going for 6 and I'm going to show you this is right in there. I didn't cut it at all. This is what I do. I set up for success. I put the low weight on first, put the heavy weight on there, take it off, and just lay down there and pump out reps. I do believe I went for 20. I don't know if I achieved 20 or not. But it definitely puts a good burn in there. And you don't have to worry about other people looking at you using that low weight. It builds the triceps. I mean, look at the triceps. You see all the detail in my triceps. I'm going to try to put more mass on my body, as I said. But I'm hoping to show you guys what I do more and show you what I eat, how I eat, how I implement food into my diet, and all of that scenarios and everything. So going into the last exercise, which is going to be the dips. Now I don't go too low, but it's just to get that real good pump and squeeze and everything. And what I do is I did, I think, four sets of just failure just going straight to failure but that's pretty much it guys thank you peace out bye